Which laptop computer has your name on it? Granted, the laptop computer may just be the sexiest accessory this side of a Baywatch Extra, but don't let all those good looks fool you. The laptop computer is one little workhorse whose time may just have arrived. Growing in popularity as prices decline, it's definitely worth considering when you're making your next computer purchase. But are laptops worth the money? Can they get the job done? More importantly, which laptop is right for you? Which one has your name on it? In order to answer that question, your main objective should be to choose a laptop that can handle all the chores you want to throw at it. So ask yourself, what types of tasks or jobs do you want your laptop computer to perform? Do you want it for simple tasks like emailing, web browsing, word processing, or for more demanding tasks like video gaming, web authoring, heavy graphic work? Where do you want to use it? When traveling, in the classroom, or for use in the home? Then keep asking yourself, what features does my new notebook computer need in order for it to get all these jobs done? First, it's helpful to know laptop computers come in many different sizes and categories. Small, sometimes called tablet PCs, ultra portables, and more recently, netbooks. These laptop computers are small with screens of 9 to 13 inches and 2 to 4 pounds or less. Mid-size usually with 13 to 15 inch screens and 4 to 6 pounds, often referred to as thin and light, mainstream, or business class notebooks. These computers offer the best all-around convenience of performance, portability, and the different features. Large. These laptops are often referred to as desktop replacements and are over an inch thick and usually have 17 inch displays or larger. They are heavy, 5 or 6 pounds and up to 12 pounds, but you can still move them easily from room to room. Once you have a basic understanding of the sizes, then make a quick list of factors you must check when buying any laptop or computer. Quick Laptop Computer Buying Checklist Processor this is the heart of your computer that does all the processing and applications. We now have dual, even quad-core processors in laptops. Also check your processor's speed, measured in gigahertz. The faster, the better. Memory or RAM, random access memory. This will also determine how fast your system will run your applications. 1 gig of RAM is minimum for running Windows Vista, but 2 gigs will make it run smoother. You need at least 256 megabytes for Windows XP and Mac OS X. Graphics card or GPU, graphics processing unit, will determine how well your system can process graphics, 3D videos, and visuals. High-end graphics cards are usually needed for video gaming, video editing, and web authoring. Hard drive, where you store your data in your laptop. You need a large 300 to 500 gigabyte or more hard drive if you want to save large files or DVDs on your system. Solid state drive is another option, but it is more expensive. Tip: Make sure you check the rotational disk speed. A 7200 RPM hard drive is faster than a 5400 RPM one. Optical drives. CD, DVD, or Blu-ray disk drives where optical media can be read and or recorded. LCD displays. These laptop screens can range from 9 inches up to 20 inches. Also, check the native resolution of your display. Some high-end laptops now have 1600 by 1200 or higher resolutions, giving full 1080p high-definition viewing. Connections. Check your laptop's wireless connections, Bluetooth, USB ports, and other connections such as eSATA, HDMI, FireWire, and the future DisplayPort connector. Battery life. Always check to see how long your battery lasts, especially if you will be using your laptop away from any electrical outlets. Match computer specs with your needs. Lastly, you have to assess your own computer needs and match them up to a laptop computer which will get the job done. Some examples, if you're a business traveler, you want something very portable that's lightweight with good battery life, the ultra portables and thin and light models may suit you the best. If you're a student, you need a quiet, portable, lightweight laptop that's a little sturdy, has a long battery life, so a netbook or a thin and light notebook will do. If you're a gamer, you need a large, high-resolution gaming laptop with fast processors, high-end graphics, video cards, lots of RAM, and hard drive space. 
If you just want to replace your main desktop PC with something more portable, then go with a large desktop replacement. If you want something you can use at home, work, and traveling, then you need an all-in-one notebook, so go with a thin and light laptop. That's it! Judgment time! Once you've considered all the facts about buying a laptop computer, you must now weigh your options. Think about the tasks you will be doing with your notebook. Look at the checklist and examine the specs. Match them up with the size of laptop you want. Is everything covered? Will the one you choose have the features to get the job done? Keep that question in mind at all times because it's the most important. If you have considered all these points, then buying your notebook should be a little bit easier. In no time at all, you may be walking around with one of those sleek, svelte, dare I say sexy, accessories tucked under your arm. To get further information and some timely laptop discounts, visit www.laptopcomputerguide.org and download our handy, free laptop computer buying guide.